You shouldn't be able to see anything just yet. It should be pretty tight because you're going to be walking around a little bit in this hallway. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and boot up the world if you just want to hang tight. Okay, so you guys will be able to see um, what he's seeing uh, on the screen up here, but only in 2D. Okay, you should be able to see the world okay now. Yeah. So, so you're in a world uh, that is actually modeled off of this exact room. So you can take a chance to kind of look around. You can tell that the uh, architecture looks very similar to what you're in now. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> so your hands aren't being rendered right now. So that's one of the things. Um, that is interesting. Yeah. So not seeing also that I'm talking in front of you, but you don't see me, yeah. right? So there's an avatar <laughs> over there. Um, he's actually what's called an agent. So there's. We make a differentiation between what's called an avatar and an agent. So an avatar is a virtual representation that's being controlled by a human. Um, so if we are rendering uh, your avatar, which you can't see right now, um, that would be yours. But an agent is just a computer program. Um, so it's some type of artificial intelligence or uh, any kind of computer uh, simulation that's behind things. So there's no actual person controlling his behaviors. Can I ask one thing? Mm -hmm. See, when I look at here, I see that window with the, the controller. Is it there? Like. It yes, it's there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's pretty it, yeah it's pretty close to, to how you're looking now. So the cool thing about this room is we actually uh, took the AutoCAD blueprints that the architects built and we actually used that to convert to a 3D model, um, so that this room is actually a one-to-one -one scale in uh, the actual room. So it's as close as you could get to, to the actual room. Okay. So I want you to to look down. So you should be in front of a, a plank right now. Um, actually, I'm actually gonna have you take a, a slight step backwards. <laughs> okay, so Estella, let's hit it. <laughs> so yeah, so we've turned the world into a pit now. Um, so we've add, uh, added a, an obstacle <laughs> for you to overcome. So um, you're probably feeling a, a little bit present now. So this is what we call presence, and this is what we like to look at um, in terms of our research, is how can we make people um, feel really... <laughs> So remember, yeah, so you're being tracked by your, your head right now. So when you oh. lean over, it thinks that you're actually stepping off. Oh, okay. Can I stay there? Yeah, if you want to like, step off, you can actually just feel it, uh, see what it feels like to hang out down there. But um, you can also try crossing with it. Sorry. So you're, you're great. You're feeling present right now. So this is exactly uh, uh, what we like. Yes. If I saw my feet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Stella, it's an F. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is a world that we use to demonstrate presence. So we use it to demonstrate how people can feel really real um, uh, and immerse in virtual reality uh, just based on something like, uh, like a visual uh, obstacle. So even though you know you're in a physical room and there's no pit there, uh, your visual system still thinks that there is one. So sometimes it's, it's hard to talk yourself out of that. Is it possible to see my hand? It is, yeah. So if we had markers attached, we could um, render your hands. Yeah. Um, we don't have any markers on you right now. The other thing we could do is also with the connect, which is what we're trying to do, is hook up the connect to this world as well. Or there um, is also have that, so we can render the world somewhere that way. Did it feel immersive? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
So this world, um, so this this current condition, this is only uh, 30 seconds. So real participants who part partook in the uh, experiment uh, actually cut down the tree for two minutes. Oh, wow. um, so we did a lot of research, and a, a tree about this size would take about two minutes in real life to, to saw down. So we shortened it a little bit for the demo. Um, but you can imagine if you're doing this uh, for two minutes straight, um, it would be uh, a little bit more immersive and impacting to you. Yeah. So did, could you feel that it was heavier uh, resisting to you? Mm, no, but when it was about to fall, it was, there was something, yeah, there was like a feeling. <laughs>